Man, I think it's time for us to reclaim what God's word says about biblical manhood. We live in a culture that is continually blurring the lines between the masculine and the feminine. And here's the thing, women are awesome, but they're different from men and God made it that way on purpose. So let's talk about what it means to be fierce. I love this verse from Proverbs 21 verse eight. It says, the wicked run away when no one is chasing them, but the godly are as bold as lions. Did you see that crazy video of a man attacking a woman and inside the security guard watches and does nothing? We get there a picture of two men who are failing to be men according to God's word. The one guy who is obviously shamefully beating up a woman, but the other guy who should be jumping to action does nothing. Fierce by man's definition means cruel and reckless and impulsive and lustful and selfish. That's not what we mean when we use the word in a biblical sense. God's definition of fierce is driven and passionate, purposeful, bold, destined. The truth is, if you're a man, then God has called you to lead and you're going to lead. The question is, are you going to lead to something positive and good and uplifting for your surroundings? Or are you going to destroy people with your selfishness? There's a story in the Old Testament of God looking to replace the king that he had already set up, King Saul, who had done a good job by human standards, but by God's standards, he didn't have a heart for God. So he goes over to the house of a guy named Jesse, and he looks for Jesse's sons to anoint. And one after one, Jesse brings in his sons from the oldest to the youngest. And these guys were, I'm sure, specimen, but none of them was chosen by God. And so they called in David, the youngest, and he stood there among his brothers. And Samuel, the prophet, took the flask of olive oil that he had brought and anointed David with the oil. And the Bible says that the spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon David from that day on. And there's a word that King David used in a lot of his Psalms. It's a Hebrew word and it's called kavod. It literally means heaviness. But many times in the Old Testament, it is translated as glory or honor or dignity. And the Bible says that it's built inside of every one of us as men. When the first man was created in Genesis chapter two, it says that God created him in his own image. The kavod, the glory of God, the weightiness, the heaviness of God is built into us because we are stamped with the image of God himself. And as image bearers of God, we should be fierce, Take a minute and talk about what we mean by fierce with your son or your men's group. Which of those characteristics we mentioned earlier describe your life right now? Which ones don't?